Hello guys, welcome to our today's lecture. Uh, let's go through our slides. Um, in previous lecture, we just made a simple program for finding the x1 and x2 of a quadratic equation. So simple, using the mat header file, using the sqrt function, we could also use the power function, which is pow. So we didn't use that one. It's okay, we will do it. We will try it in the next uh, lectures. So here, we have a multiplied by b modulus c plus d. Which one will be the first calculated? a multiplied by b. Because here, a multiply, uh, multiplication and modulus has the same precedence. So they have the same precedence. So uh, we will start from the left side. First multiplication, then modulus, then plus. How about this one? Are they equal? Of course not. Because here the precedence of parentheses to first, it will um, calculate B modulus C. Then it will multiply by A. But in the right hand side, first A will be multiplied by B, then modulus of C. So there's so much difference. Let's get even in it. Here we have b square minus 4 ac whole divided by 2a. Is it a correct answer? Of course not. We have to show which one uh, has the most precedence, which one should be solved first. Of course here, first will be b multiplied by b, then 4 multiplied by a, mm, then the result will be multiplied by c, then it will be divided by 2, then it will be multiplied by a that's wrong so we have to use parentheses to show that b is square minus here yeah. b multiplied by b minus 4 multiplied by a multiplied by c will be inside one parenthesis then whole will be divided by 2 this is the correct answer so interesting problem given a four digit integer separate and print the digits on the screen uh, let's just make a uh, uh, integer and this this is a problem you have to make the program which solve this problem someone gives a four digit integer you have to separate it and print, print the each digit on the screen here we just need to use uh, modulus and also division so uh, I'm just going to show you, yeah, I have uh, this code in the slide, just go through this one, uh, first we are going to have a number, for, for example, 1, 2, 3, 4, take the remainder of the above number, of course, they are divided by 10, of course, the remainder will be 4, yeah, then we have 4, remove last digit, how, just divided by 10, then it will be 1, 1, 2, 3, 123.4 which uh, this because this is an integer it will truncate there and one two three will remain then again do the same thing modulus of 10 which gives you 3 then divided by 10 which gives you 12, 12 1 2 then modulus of 10 which gives you 2 then divided by 10 which gives you 1 so you have each digit just save them in a separate pro, uh, variable here is the code, you can go through this one also. So, guys, today, this was our today's lecture. We will continue in the next lecture. Okay, see you guys. So, 